everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, monthly reading for the month of August 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for the month of August. I will be adding oracle cards, I will be adding color card and I will be adding charms as well. So stay tuned. And while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And you can also check out my sister's Sarah channel as well. I will add the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So let's get started. Let's see what is coming up for the Virgos in the month of August. Eight of Swords, Pair of with six of pentacles pair of words seven of swords um you're starting off the month feeling stuck feeling bad feeling lonely feeling st you know um stagnant in your life you know it doesn't have to be a specific area of your life it could be a you know an overall feeling you are feeling like you know too low for uh for yourself to be you know um able to see through uh, see through things the right way you you will be um feeling down you will be feeling um lazy you will be feeling uh unhappy uh no matter whatever that is going around you 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 would have some sense of um um unhappy kind of feeling around you as you start the month you would feel like you know as if nothing is moving forward in your life as if nothing is working out well for you as if nothing is you know moving in your love life there will be some sort of imbalance that you would be feeling in your life right now as you start the month of uh, august and it seems like you know uh there, there, there will be a lot of, uh, you know, um, there will be a lot of, uh, you know, things going on in your mind, in your head, um, where you would be feeling left alone. You would feel like, you know, um, maybe you are not loved, maybe you are not, uh, you know, being uh, taken care of. Maybe people take you for granted. Maybe people don't value you. You are going to feel like, you know, every time you, uh, maybe if I talk about the relationship, you would feel like, you know, you are always left alone. You know, whoever you, you know, deal with, this person always takes you for granted. You know, you always feel left alone. Um, no matter how hard you try to keep the relationship balanced, you are going to feel like, you know, you are, you know, being left alone by this person. Every time you uh, get into a relationship, you feel that they neglect you for other things, for other people. For some of you, it could have been a case in the past where you you were, uh, you know, left alone by this person, of uh, you know, because they, they chose another person in your life, uh, in their life. So again, you are having all the negative thoughts that you can think of right now. And it's like, you know, it's definitely draining you emotionally, mentally, physically. And it's it's just going to be, you know, very hard on your, you know, you will be getting very hard on yourself when it comes to, you know, situations that you would be dealing in, uh, dealing, uh, you know, with in the month of uh in the month of August and I feel like you know um, no matter how ever you know no matter how I have this uh, you know person is making you feel like you know when it comes to your love life I feel like you know this person is making you feel so bad right now no matter how bad this person is making you feel like but still you are thinking of this person like you know you 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 do miss this person you do think of this person you do have a lot of love and care for this person but um it's it's always like you know your love for this person gets too much as compared to your your you know the negative thoughts that you think of uh when it comes to the past that you might have had with this person you always you know, your, your love for this person always wins over, you know, other fears, other, you know, other negative emotions that this person gives you or get you into. So I feel like, you know, it's, um, no matter how, uh, you know, it's, it seems like, you know, you, you know what this person makes you go through, but still you want the same person. That's what I'm picking up. The energies could be reversed as well for some of you. Let's take more cards. Four of Swords. The Magician. I need the deck you do have seven of cups you, you are being like you know going on and off uh mentally around this person you really don't know even though you're starting the month feeling very low and down and you don't know whether you should stay in this situation or you should move on but i don't see you uh being able to take the right decision here because you are very much in your head around this person around this connection you really want it to be balanced you really want it to be an add-on to your happy life but it's not the case in actuality it's just adding stress to your life and that's why you sometimes feel like moving away from this person 
Sometimes you feel like, you know, staying with this person, you don't know what to do. But I feel like, you know, you have the power to change the whole situation in your favor if and only if you, you make up your mind first, what is it that you want? Do you want this person? Then how do you want this person? Do you want this person the way they are or do you want this person the way you desire in your head or mind, in your heart? That, you know, this person should be like this. They should always treat you as their priority. They should always love you. What is it that you want? Do you want this person to be the same way and still be talking to you and, you know, give you time and, you know, not give you the type of love that you want? What is it that you want? Is it something um, else that you have, you know, on your mind that you really want to come from this person, which this person is not ready to give you? Like, for example, like, you know, I demand or I wish that my person... Uh, you know, uh, I, I, I visualize, I imagine, I, um, you know, I want this person, not visualize or imagine, uh, let me, let me, see, you know, correct myself here. Um, maybe I, uh, you know, I have a guy in my life and I, I really want this person to, you know, be nice to me, treat me like a princess, treat me right, treat me, you know, give me time, give me, you know, take me as his priority. When it comes to the reality of this current situation, he is exactly doing the opposite. So what do I actually desire? Do I desire this love, abundance, happiness coming from this person? Or do I just desire, you know, this happiness coming from anywhere? One thing, if I desire with this person, like, you know, whatever it is that you, I really want to manifest, I really need to stop expecting uh, things from this person. Instead of that, I should, you know, manifest what I desire by focusing on what I desire and having this person as um as exactly as uh, as uh, as i want him to be on your mind i would think of him to be the perfect husband perfect you know life partner perfect man who who loves me who treats me like a princess and stuff like that i will have to break free from the negative you know thoughts that i'm having around this person because if i go back to this person with the same mindset what am I going to get is the same, you know, crappy uh, behavior. So what I need to do here is to pull myself out of the situation completely. Know for myself, what do I want? Do I want loving relationship? Be that with this person or be that with somebody new? One thing. Do I need, you know, if I need this person, then I have to stop expecting things to happen from this person. I need to start creating the images that I want to have in my life, in my mind. And that's how this other person is going to. <clears throat> change their attitude towards me so that's how it is going to work you you really have the power to change the situation in your favor but you really have to understand how you can do that you cannot think negative and expect something positive to happen to you because both things cannot you know um work in your life simultaneously if you are happy you cannot um expect something bad to happen for yourself if you are you know um, already having some bad situations you cannot expect like you know uh, some good thoughts to come your way if, if you really you know if you are having some negative thoughts you cannot expect something you know out of nowhere uh, you know come for you which is going to brighten up your day you really have to change your thoughts here first and that's how you're going to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life so you have to whatever it is that you want you can have it but again it's it's not going to come from that person it's not going to come from uh, anything you really have to stop you know going back to this person who has been treating you bad you really have to understand what do you want you want a stable connection with this person you really want happy love uh, happiness love abundance with this person then you really have to manifest that you cannot let this person treat you bad and feel bad all the day um all the time and um, then uh, you know complain that this person makes me feel bad all the time so you really have to stand up for yourself you really have to make things happen for you you really have to uh, you know put the effort to um to first make up your mind what is it that you want then you have to um co-create that as your new reality by working on the things that you need to work you really have to stop going back to this person because i do see that you know the moment you think of going back to this person it does again block you because you start feeling like you know this person is you know what if uh, he or she uh, treats me the same way again so that's a block again so what you got to do is you really have to detach yourself from this person and you really have to bring forth whatever it is that you want with this person um let's see more cards underneath this no it's 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 a, it's such a bad situation to be in you really have to detach yourself before you could have what you want um <sighs> yeah
you know, you thinking negative thoughts, you thinking like, you know, they always do this and that, that's not going to help you. You really have to find a solution. And if you don't find a solution, you are going to stay stuck in this situation in the whole month of August. But yes, you do have the power. You can change things around exactly the way you want them. But for that, you really have to start posit thinking positive. You really have to start uh, having, uh, you know, what you desire in here. You really have to let go of the negative thoughts, the things that they have uh, done to you and stuff like that. You really have to start as if, you know, today is the first day of your life and everything is perfect in your life. Your person is treating you like a princess. Your person is treating you like a, you know, uh, like a king or something. Like, you know, whatever it is that you, your ideal life looks like. You really have to start thinking of that ideal life from here. The moment you have that thought, the moment you start thinking of that, that's how you will start seeing the positive changes in your life, which you cannot see in that mindset where you are thinking all the negative thoughts, all the bad things that have happened already in this connection. So you really have to break free from that, um, you know, uh, thought pattern to have what you want. Because I don't think that you are able to detach yourself from this person completely. So that's why I'm telling you, detach from them. Don't massage them. Don't let them treat you bad. But at the same time, start thinking and living with them in your mind exactly the way you want to be living with them like you know they are treating you well and that's going to keep you happy that's going to keep you um positive and you will start seeing that becoming your reality if you if you let your fears your negative thoughts you know um seep into your mind and stay in that you know state for long you are going to basically self-sabotage yourself from having what you want because you don't want what you're thinking of right now you really don't want that instead you are thinking of it that's how you will attract more of it what you need to do is right now when i'm doing this reading tell your mind a different story to believe in you really have to tell yourself that your person loves you the most and they are you know make an affirmation <clears throat> make some affirmations for this person for this connection and start repeating them to yourself that's how you could skip all the negative energy that is coming up for you in the in the in the month of uh, August and you can just tap into the power that you have and co-create the life that you want with the universe and uh, with the with the words that you speak with the Im images that you hold in here in your mind and that's how the universe is going to start supporting you universe is always supporting you be that you know in your favor or be that against you whatever you hold in your mind that's going to work out for you if you really want the universe to work for you you really have to think positive thoughts so yeah, let's um, let's take some oracle card and then we will take some charms. Let's see what is going on. Free yourself. Uh, it's time to take back control of your life. That's exactly what you need to do. Free yourself from negative thoughts and start thinking productively and positively. That's how you will go create a new life for yourself that you truly desire to have. You have. You have to believe that you have the magical powers that nobody else has, and you have the control of your life nobody else has so you really have to start living the life of your dreams right now from within you from here and that's how you will attract it in your life as your new reality let's see which career is going to be lucky for you in the month of august uh red free yourself from the pain number two again the same message you really have to free yourself from the pain whatever has happened has happened just let it let it be in the past free yourself from that and try to move on with the um, with positive mindset if you really want to manifest somebody new if you have been hurt in the past for you know by by someone in uh, in in your life you really have to, you really want to manifest somebody new again start thinking of the person that you really want to be uh having in your love life and that's how you will attract the right person in your life again i do see a strong tendency even if you think that you are ready to move on you do have a strong tendency of going back to the past person so um make sure you know the first thing that you need to do is know what you want do you want this person do you don't want this person whatever it is that you desire do you want to get married or do you want to get married to a specific person whatever it is that you want plan everything accordingly so let's see what uh, what the charms has to add to the reading <clears throat> weakness is a choice and you really have to be strong here you know, it's something uh, you, you cannot tell yourself, oh, I cannot live without this person. You can. It's, it's just that you're choosing to stay with them to treat you bad. So stand up for yourself. Stand tall for yourself. It's, it's, it's a choice. It's nothing that you're, you know, uh, being, you know, um, you know, it's, it's something that, you know, you, you self-impose on yourself. It's, it's nothing that the universe has, you know, put you in a situation like this. You can change your reality by changing your thoughts. 
Um, so yeah, just just uh, make up your mind, pamper yourself, take care of yourself, and um, yeah, and just just pull yourself out of the situation, pull yourself out of this negativity, free yourself from the pain, um, and this and this uh, you know bullshit, and um, yeah, try to try to uh, become more confident, try to become more uh, passionate towards yourself, love yourself, know that you are deserving of love. Try manifesting the new kind of a person in your life. Even if you want the same old person, just imagine them to be the exactly, you know, the type of person that you always wanted them to be. But again, if you are staying in touch with this person and if you are trying to manifest this, it's not going to happen easy because you would feel like, you know, oh my God, I'm, in my mind, I was thinking like, you know, this person is talking to me, but in actuality, they are ignoring my text messages. They are not checking my messages. So the best thing to do is to detach yourself and then try to manifest things. Because if you stay in touch, you will continue to, you know, uh, you know, judge the, the progress that you will be having. So it's better if you detach yourself and then try to manifest it. It's going to get you the result even quicker. So yeah, this promise is coming up for you in the month of August. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you are willing to get a personal reading, you can always do that by reaching out to me on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.